Hey guys, Becky with Design Bundles here, and today I'm super excited to have you join me. We are going over the Cricut Design Space Slice Tool, okay? Now don't worry, it's not nearly as boring as it sounds. We have a lot of really great tips and tricks to share with you, so let's get started. Okay guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and I have brought in a few things that we're gonna play with today, uh, but don't worry, I will explain what each of those is for in just a minute. What we're gonna talk about, of course, is the slice tool. And I wanna show you some uh, basic steps of what we're going to do. Um, as well as some, we'll say, tips and tricks along the way. Now I have five individual files that I'm going to show you that use um, the slice tool because it really is a lot more versatile than a lot of people think. And then also the good news is that we have some follow-up videos if you are interested in any of these processes um, and you will get to see and learn more about completing each one of these. So for example, we're going to talk about a split letter monogram. Well, you can actually see that in action um, on our YouTube video list. So if that's something that you enjoy, then be sure to check that out. Now to get started, the first thing I'm going to show you is just the basics of two different shapes. Okay, now I can use any shape that I want. It can be a file that I have imported. It can be a shape that I am creating and it can also be text. Basically any two overlapping shapes. I'm gonna hold down my mouse my right mouse button and drag and select both of these shapes and come down here to the bottom right hand side and choose slice. And what that does is it splits up our image into all of these individual pieces. Okay, so you can see it split the circle and then it also split the square. Okay, so that is the, the very basics of what the slice does. And that's what makes it so versatile because you can use it in a multitude of ways. So let's get these out of here and we're going to say, let's use a heart just because it's really cute. All right, I'll make it large and I'm also going to create some text. And let me just pick a fun font. And then of course I'm gonna go ahead and I will reduce my letter spacing and bring these closer together. And then I will go ahead and use weld. So we have one completed shape here. And then what I can do, and I like to just rotate mine a little bit, you know, it would just depend on, on what you're working with, but I'm going to connect this. I like for it to be connected side to side, and it is. And then I'm going to select both of these and choose slice. Now, this is also good if I wanted to layer these two because one would fit right inside the other. But what I want to show you is that I can delete all the pieces that I don't need. And I'm left with this little word art that has been sliced out of the heart. So that's just another very basic idea of what you can use the slice tool for. Another thing, now I have used this for making borders and rings. I'll make a little bit more sense in a minute. I'm gonna create two circles and I wanna make one just a little smaller than the other. I'm gonna select both of these, go to align and choose center. Now one is overlapping the other and I can choose slice and I get a ring. Now you might be asking me, Becky, um, what am I going to use that for? Well, if you've noticed these days, a lot of logos, I'm just doing control C and control V, a lot of logos and monogram frames have these overlapping circles, right? So this is how you can make those yourself because a lot of people get confused when they see a circle on the screen and it's just gonna cut out the outside layer. This is how you would combine them and be able to make your own frame overlapping. So then you can just weld them together. All right, so that makes one piece. Now you don't have to overlap them. You know, every now and then for a project, it's just really useful to have a frame and to be able to use this for your designing, but that is how you're going to make that happen. You can do this with um, circles, you can do it with squares, anything like that. It's just a really uh, neat little tip to know. 
Now, the third thing that we want to talk about is really, really neat. Um, you can do this for distressing. You can do this for mandala designs. But basically, it's where you can take any solid shape. And um, I'm just a really big fan of using the heart. <laughs> so we're going to keep using it for several projects. Um, but all I'm going to do is overlap. Now, I have brought in a mandala design. And let's see, let's just so you can see it, we will send to back and we're going to enlarge our mandala design until it covers. I'm going to do the entire heart and then I can select both of these using my drag box and use a line and center them. Now, sometimes you do have to weld your design together um, to get it to pick up in the software as all one image. Okay. So do that first if you need to, if the slice um, function does not appear for you. And now you want to select the heart and the mandala file. And then you can use the slice tool. And this may take a minute because the mandala is a little bit detailed, uh, but let's watch what happens. So once the processing is done, you can just move the pieces that you don't need. And then I can choose either one of these depending on the look that I want because I'm left with my original and then I'm also left with the outline portion. Let's change these to a more pleasing color. There we go. We like red, right? And I'm just going to switch them to print, not because I'm actually going to print them, but it's going to show you. There we go. Don't they look pretty without that dark black outline? So you can choose either one. And if you choose a mandala that has the um, circle in the middle, then this makes a really, really good monogram frame also. So just something to keep in mind. And like I said, that works for distressing also. Now the fourth designing tip that I want to show you, I'm going to show you with a PNG image, but remember that this will also work for um, cut files if there's part of the file that you want to remove. Um, you know, I really like this. This is actually meant to be a, um, a sticker and I did print some of these out, but I also want to remove part of this. So um, a lot of you guys, I don't know uh, what designing softwares you're familiar with, but a lot of designing softwares will have like a knife tool or an erase tool. And um, Cricut Design Space does not have that. So what you can do is you're going to overlap because instead of Santa, I want to put my name on there. Okay, or maybe I'll put our family name, delivery from um, the Dykes family, right? So then I can select both of these and choose slice. And that will allow me to remove Santa. Now I can actually use Santa um, in another way if I want to, if I wanted to use that. But I can also insert my own name. Okay, and I can insert us right there. Now I can select the entire design and go ahead and align to center. I just want to do center horizontally, get that locked in there. And then I can actually create a square. I know, just bear with me guys. Arrange, center back, and I'm going to line it up with the edges of that sticker. I know what you're thinking. Oh, now she's bringing in a circle. I promise it all makes sense. We just want to fill this in. And again, I'm going to select it all, center horizontally, center back. But I actually want to select the circle and the square. We'll go ahead and weld those together. This is going to be white. And if I select this whole design and flatten it, Let's see what we have. There we go. So then I would be able to work this as a print and cut and I was able to remove Santa and insert my own text for um, whatever I wanted it to say. So instead of using a knife tool or an eraser tool, you can simply overlap whether it's an SVG file or in this case a PNG. You can overlap a shape um, and manipulate it however you need to and then just simply slice it out so that um, you can replace it on your own. So let's move those out of the way. And last but not least is number five. Now we have a really awesome tutorial on using photos and um, we actually make that the mom text frame. We'll just delete that all the way. Um, and you take the letters of mom, M-O-M, -M, and you 
fill them with photos and then slice them out. And that video moves a little fast because there were so many photos and you know, it takes so long because you have to slice each photo individually. Okay. I probably should have started off saying that you can only slice two things at a time. So you cannot have three or four things overlapping and slice them all together. All right. So in this case, let's do, I will show you a letter M and let's go ahead and use another heart. So now for your font, you want to use a nice thick font. Now your heart and your M, you're going to change those to score. And that allows them to be transparent so that you can see through and decide where you're going to line up here. And I will, I'm going to give myself another one of those. Now, like I said, this is going to be a very condensed version just because what we're trying to accomplish here is I'm just showing you about the slice tool, right? So I can line up my heart and line it up with my photo make sure I get everything in there that I want size it like normal, everything like that is normal so far. And I'm gonna select the two of these and choose slice. And then I can delete out whatever I don't need, including the original heart, I don't need that anymore. So now I have cropped down my image into my photo into the shape that I wanted. And you can do the same thing with a letter. So let's, um, let's see, send to front. And I can move my photo. I just want to fill up my design. And then let's say I want to include this one as well. All right, so sometimes you will have to play with the order. So that way you can actually see what we're doing. So we'll size this one down. And we will, here this is a perfect image of wanting to cut something. I'm going to make a square. Let's scroll down just a little bit. I can make a square and position it wherever I want to cut this photo off. Select those and slice. And now I just have the part of the photo that I need. I'm going to move backwards, position this photo. Okay, so I will have a position or a photo of us up here and then a smaller photo down here. All right, like I said, not super complex, but I just want to show you. Now I'm using my drag box. I'm going to select the photo and the letter and go ahead and choose slice. And I want to go ahead and delete out not the original letter. Let's not get crazy. I want to delete out the photo. Okay, so that leaves me with this image right here, right? And then I can do the same thing and select this and hit slice. And then I can delete out this part of the photo. So then whenever I bring this one back over, they will line up exactly and they will make that M. And I can delete all of the dashed lines because I don't need them. Select these and flatten them together. Okay. Now you may be asking me, well, Becky, um, you know, I don't really want to move them out of the way. And in the video, I show you that we're not moving them out of the way. Um, so I'm going to back up and I'm just going to show you how we're going to do that. Okay. So we're all the way back to the beginning. So I'm simply going to drag here and hit slice. Okay. And then because I know that these overlap, all right, if I want to, I can just send to back and I can just select over here on the right hand side, my photo, hold down the um, control key and then select my M and slice again. So over here, having this side panel really gives you a lot of control, being able to select the exact photo and that letter M that you want to use, and also a lot of control deleting the parts that you don't need. So I can go through here and delete and it'll tell you slice results and things like that. And ultimately I arrive at the same place. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of how you are going to use the slice tool and all the amazing features that you can use it for in Cricut Design Space. So guys, how did we feel about the slice tool? 
Hopefully you were able to learn a few things. It is definitely a lot more robust than people realize. There are a lot of really great designs and um, modifications that you can do using the slice tool. So make sure you jot down some notes in your notebook and I will be waiting to hear from you and how you are able to put the slice tool to good use. So make sure you leave that down there in the comments below. Also, if you found any other great uses for the slice tool, I would love to hear them. I love to hear from you guys. Make sure you ask your questions, leave your comments. And of course, if you have any future video requests, we want to hear those too. So I'm going to wrap it up guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to do that. Like, share, and subscribe. That's what helps keeps the channel going so that we can bring you more video tutorials in the future. So thanks again. I appreciate it. And we will see you next time.